You say you pray every day? Every day, bro. What you pray about, bro? Yeah. <laughs> pray about, you know. You can put your mic down, see, man. Get comfortable, yeah, dog. Keep telling just, me, man. Like, we, just, we, just, we pray every day, man. You got to stay prayed up, man. You got to pray for better days and pray for, you know, th be thankful. That's it. What you think What you think got you into that? Uh, praying, I mean, you know, just being humble growing up. Family, household, you know what I mean? Everybody pray. We keep a Bible everywhere, so for sure. What was, like, some um, some lessons that, that came from the crib? Um, or came from your moms or your parents. Right, right. Um, from the know, Bible, though. Like right, Bible um, lessons. You know, you know, you know things like you know not stealing and you know doing a little weird stuff like that. You know, living, you know, living righteously. You feel me? So, right. yeah. I, I think mine was uh, what goes around comes around. I think mm -hmm. I got that from um, mm -hmm. my mom. She used to be like heavy in scripture and things like that. She was like, don't ever like. Try to pay nobody back. You know, God, God got it. You right, know what I'm saying? right, right, right. Um, even like when things go wrong, she would always be like, "God got it." You know, what yeah. I'm saying? I remember uh, it was a time specifically when, um, like, and I hate to say this like publicly <laughs> on camera and shit, but uh, it's a family called a family, right? Mm -hmm. And I never forget. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have said that name. I'll bleep it out. Whatever. So the family, um, they was mean to me or whatever, and the mm -hmm. mother. My mom, my mom was on drugs, so the, I was coming from school, and I was a kid. I was in elementary school, and the mother was like, "That's why your mom's is a crackhead or some shit like that." Mm. And I'm like, "Damn!" So I went home and I told my mom's, and I never forget. She was like, "Don't worry about that. What goes around comes around." I swear to God on my life, bro. I woke up um in the middle of the night. She woke me up in the middle of the night, and she was like, "Um, see, look, I told you, what goes around comes around. Their house is on fire." Damn. Not saying that she wished that on them, but it mm -hmm. was like. You never, you don't have to do payback. You know what I'm saying? Because God right. always got your payback. Right. Right. No, so I was really. wondering if you had any stories like, yeah, yeah. That. Man, I don't really got any stories, but you know, just <laughs> he said I don't got no stories. You know, what you know? Saying? I just everything happened for a reason, though. That's what I go by. Everything happened for a reason, for okay. sure. Everything happened for a reason. Okay. So you know what I mean? Your bad days is something. It's a reason for that. You know what I mean? Right. Sometimes it's just a reason you ain't go there, or you, you wasn't there, or it's a reason why you ain't got no money yet. Might be a reason why you're not where you want to be yet. You might not be ready for that yet. It's a reason for it. So, you know. Vontae, let's start with the name. Let's right. start with the Instagram name. When yeah. I see it, I, I see Vontae. Right. People be saying Vontae. Like, it's, like, you know, they look at the two E's. Yeah. Because you can't put the little uh, apostrophe over the joint on, okay. the, on, the, on the internet. But okay. it's Tay. Like, you know? So that's how you spell it in, in real life. Yeah, in real life, you put it. Yeah. Okay. Right, right. You, you get a lot of people that be like, Vontae, Vontae. Yeah, a lot of people be like that. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Nah, for real. Is that shit annoying or? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it depends. Like, if I'm about to perform at a show or something, and somebody bring me out and say, Avanti, it's like, come on, man, you ain't ask somebody. But, like, in the street, nah, it's, it's cool. Let's, let's stick to the name, bro. Um, I feel like you've been doing this for a while now. Right. Um, And at one point in time, well, of course, all of us, a while ago, when you wasn't as big as you are right now, right? Mm -hmm. When it comes to the acting shit and the comedy shit, it was a lot of comedians in the city and, well, in Baltimore City. Right. Do you ever feel like people wouldn't give you an opportunity to to get on when they was lit and when they had the ball in their court, and then when you got on, it was like they looking for you for a handout? Hand out, right. uh, nah, I don't really see that. I feel like uh, in the beginning, I kind of always been like the guy in the city to kind of just do his own thing. You mm -hmm. know, I always had my own little crew. You know what I mean? I had my own little clique that we still rock with today. Uh, so I feel like people in the beginning wasn't trying to give me that in the beginning, though. Like, you know, I kind of had a... Just do my own thing. It wasn't like I was looking for it. They say they can't do it, but you know, the way I do my comedy, I do it for a reason. Like I can just do it all myself, like on some Eddie Murphy type of stuff. You know what I mean? So, so yeah. Nah, that's a fact. Yo, do you think speaking of doing your own thing, yo, can you get uh, Jake from downstairs, please, if you don't mind? Um, speaking of doing your own thing, let's talk about the the, the comedy. We got to talk about right. the skits, right. Right? right? The wigs, the dressing up like a girl and things. He said like wigs though. No? Hey, bonnets. 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 My bad. Okay. Yeah, okay. You right. My bad. No, no, no. You guys, you Correct you me if I'm wrong, nigga. We can do that. The bonnets, the the girl imitation and things like that. Right, right. The bonnets and shit like that. Right. Tell me about face to face. Right. Because on behind closed doors, everybody was like, man, this nigga gay, man. I don't like that. I don't like that. Tell right. me about the interactions face to face, though. Because a lot of niggas can say I some never shit. in my life heard somebody say that in my face, dog. That's crazy. Because I feel like my presence. When you see me and you see a, you're going to see a grown man when you see me. You're not about to see, you know, 
what I'm doing on the gram on my creative side. I'm you saying a grown man. You feel me? But I can tap into that because I like to be an actor. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like so, I think even when people see Jamie Foxx, like when y'all run into him, do y'all think of Wanda or do y'all think of Jamie Foxx? Do y'all think of Martin like Shanae? Do y'all think of Martin? So it's like even Tyler, Tyler Perry, Perry. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Oh, when yeah, you see Tyler you. Perry and the old business, so you're not thinking. So it's all about that approach of the presence. The 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 criticism that you may see or whatever, right. like because we can't ignore. I, I don't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. When you first started doing it right. and you heard the criticism, what, right. was you worried about keep doing it? Was you like doubting yourself in the beginning? In the beginning, the criticism was fueling me. It made me do it even more. So then in the middle, it was like, all right, some of this shit starting to get to me. Damn. But then when I transformed it and made the money off it, then I said, all right, <laughs> y'all got me fucked up. You feel what I'm saying? Because now you get to live your life comfortably. You get to be, you know, wake up, do what you want to do Damn. off your talent. So yeah, you go through them stages for sure. Damn, that's for what's sure. up, bro. What, what, like, what, what pushed you through that though in the middle when it was it was the money or I'm, I'm pretty sure it had, something had to push you through it before you got the money. I was like, I ain't gonna lie, people don't know them DMs and them, them comments, they, they be helping though, for real. Like you Damn. be reading them, you be like, Damn, that's a positive shit. It's the positive shit. See, we always looking at the negative. Mm. You know what I'm saying? One negative comment will outweigh a hundred positive ones. That's, that's the wrong way to look at it. So looking at the comments and the messages. Damn, yeah. that's that's crazy, that's bro. Right. I, um, it's it's dope to see it because again, like coming from the city, I saw your transitions. And right. one thing I will say is, you've always been like this humble guy from the beginning. Like I remember mm. I did the little uh. Not pull up, but the interview with you and Gerald. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He was like, "Y'all pull up, bro." Yeah, I, I thought that was dope, man. What, yeah. what what keeps you humble like that? Cause you don't have, bro. You lit like you out, you outside for real. You don't yeah. have to be the nigga that niggas can call no more. I mean, I just live by the rules of living. A, you know, I live within my means. I don't do nothing that's not in my lane. You get what I'm saying? I feel like I'm here for a reason, so I stick to the reason. I don't be trying to do the most. And then just being humble, like you said, just go back to the Bible and just how I was raised. Like you mm-hmm. know, he wasn't really raised to be. You know, showing people, you know, things that, you know, I don't want to come off like that. If I do anything, it's more so just like motivation. Right. Like, you get what I'm saying? I don't want to just do the most. You know, I don't want to overstep it. Damn, so. bro, that's crazy. Going back to the um, the the, the character, right, with the bonnet and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. I, I, I talk about this because I feel like this is something that I hear a lot. You right. might not hear it, but right. I hear it a lot when I when I bring up, you be like, man, da da da. But one thing I can say is right. it gets the girls. It does. It gets it the, and we know women are the biggest consumers. Exactly. When you went into it originally, was you thinking about Martin, Tyler Perry, um, exactly. Jamie Foxx, or was you thinking about the woman, or was it just something that you could relate to? Like, what made you go into make, doing this character with the bond and things like that? Well, I was thinking that women just more supportive at the, in the beginning. I ain't gonna hold you. You get a lot of women on your side, then you really got the market. Like you said, That's a, fact. a lot of women are, you know, they out here. So it's like, if you're looking at that market, and women like to spend money, you get what I'm saying? If you go to the merch, women gonna buy it. You get what I'm saying? You got a lot of women out here really turning, transforming businesses. But when I went into it, I was just thinking like Martin. Like I was trying to do my own show, mm-hmm. but I ain't had no money. So I ain't got motherfucking fucking cameras and, and stuff like that. But in the beginning, like I said, we did the Baltimore way though. That's how we was coming in the beginning. We was doing more like in the streets of Baltimore, like on the wire. Then mm-hmm. that shit ain't work out. You know how shit get, then you got to get into another bag. But that's how I started. But, what, um... um what made, what made? Cause you, when you did the bottom, I thought you, I, you had a lot, a lot of buzz with that. Yeah. Why, 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 why that stop? I mean, I, you know, it just it, it get to like, you know, like it wasn't making no money off that because I had music in that. So it was like I couldn't rebuild and get the the camera shit where I wanted to go. So mm-hmm. I was like, all right, we can't really keep doing this. And then on top of that, it's hard to do shit if you're not making no money from doing it. You got to look at somewhere else. Like, all right, that ain't you get what I'm saying. But now we will go back to it, but. During that time, I'm thinking like I, I had two jobs. I was going to college at that time. I ain't had time to keep on not making money, playing around. You know what I mean? So can we talk about that, bro? I think a lot of people. Um, you said you are making money now from your uh, you like the bonds, the shows, yeah, the, the shows, and things like and stuff, that from yeah. from your work, from right. from your creativeness. You making money from it now? Not to get messy or in your business or whatever like that, but like. How much money would you say you're making? Not not a number. Is right. it enough to like pay for your lifestyle, your bills, and everything right now, or is it still? I mean, an uphill battle. I mean, the number one thing is enough for me not to work no nine to five job. You get what I'm saying? Like you make enough money ways that you can wake up and actually have a free day. You ain't gotta just damn. I gotta get up and do that. So you can pay your bills off it. Of right. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. That's pay your bills and then you just talk to me about um the process of it. Everybody always say you gotta enjoy the process, and I feel like yeah, yeah. it's cap me personally because How you say that? the process is a bitch. 
Mm -hmm. I'd be like, fuck the process every day. Yeah. But I just love what I do. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I enjoy what I do enough to do it. Right. Um, talk to me about your process when you were like, you had to go make these videos with other cameras. You had to make these videos on Instagram. Yeah. And you don't got no fucking money. And about, even, tell me bro. the times that you might have to take a book in for less than what you wanted. But yeah, that's you had for to do sure. It. <laughs> Man, what? I remember the first time I ever got booked, though. That was in, uh, it was a college out of Chicago. And I got booked, you know, shit like that. I'm happy for the money, right? Mm -hmm. Man, I went to the show. It was only one person there. In the whole auditorium, they said the show canceled. They still gave me my money. I, drew, I I flew a plane all the way to Chicago. I'm 19. I got paid, but nobody came. I humbled the fuck out of me. For real. So I came back home to Baltimore. I said, "All right, we got to figure it out. I don't care what nobody say. I got to make it out of here. Whether I got to put a bonnet on, whether I got to do this. But now I'm in a stage in my life. Now I'm 27. So now I can go back to this being me. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going viral, just like to see how double A uh, video I just made. That joint Shit went crazy. go crazy, and you get paid for that. Mm -hmm. So all them views add up now. And you ain't got to put the bonnet on. You can just talk now. Now right. you can branch off. But I had to do something because that shit humbled the hell out of me. I ain't going to hold you. Do Nobody you, there. Do you think, <laughs> when you're making these videos now, are you like um, uh, being strategic with it or are you still just being creative like however, however you want to do it? Like the CIAA, That's a great question. That's a great question. Am I being strategic or creative? And that, and then all the, okay, so I'm being strategic when it comes to the money part. Like CIAA, I have to make a video, Vontae. If you don't make a video, you can't play lazy. This is only here for one weekend. Now the creative, with me doing like something like how I be doing like the little mic from the woods, where I do like no Michael Myers shit or something like that. That's creative, but you got to think strategic when your bills about to be due. You got rent about to, you know. So let me drop this. Yeah, you got to drop something. You got bills and shit. So you know you got to do what you got to do. Nigga might got to throw on two bonnets. Fuck you. Don't cry about that was a good joke. That was a good joke. No, I mean you got to do what you got to do though. Yo, talk to me about um, we talking money, we talking Instagram. You get paid off of that and shit like that. Is that does that ever frustrate you? Because like for me, I do the YouTube thing, and the YouTube thing is I. Right, but when I'm looking at the views compared to the pay, this shit don't make sense. Which is why I got multiple streams. You got TikTok. I'm mm -hmm. popping on there too. How you got is, YouTube. Is the, is the money. Is, how was that? TikTok money cool. I mean, you got to wait thirty days after a month, so you got to wait basically sixty days. Why am I giving you some, giving yeah, you something instantly, days. and I'm waiting thirty days to get my motherfucking yeah, money? Yeah, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> nah, for real. But I mean, like I said, when you look at the money, that's when your your your, your talent, and your craft, kind of fall off. That you gotta look at it for the while you're doing it. Like you just trying to be funny. Facts. You know what I mean? The money just. That's Yo, not really... I appreciate you. I, if I if I had a box of roses on some um, drink championship, I would give you some roses in the physical flesh. Cause like I appreciate what you're doing for the city. I appreciate yeah. what you're doing for yourself. And I feel like. I feel like you get the recognition though. Do you feel like you you don't get the recognition? Yeah, I do. I, I feel like I do. I do. So I do. what about how, how does it feel to be? I feel like I would say like you in the middle, and what that means is like everybody know who Vontae is. Like right. like niggas, but they waiting names. on that big thing. Yeah, they waiting on that big do you thing. You get frustrated like yo, what the fuck? Like everybody know who I am. Yeah, Netflix, for sure I get frustrated. Hell yeah, I get frustrated. <laughs> That's the part they don't tell y'all though. Like it's frustrating. Like you like yo, I'm working hard. Yo, why am I not? But again, like I said, back to the beginning. Mm. Everything happened for a reason. Mm. God might put me in a position right now and I might not be ready for it. I might lose my mind. You know, God forbid, I might lose my mind. So I'm at a level right now where it's like, all right, I'm taking my time, I'm controlling the pace. It's all about controlling the pace. Facts. You know, just because you say I should be living somewhere, I mean, I feel like I'm ready for it. You know, it's all about I, me. I love that for you, bro. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of us can't, can't get in control of that. Yeah, that a mental lot of health is living. serious. A lot of people are living for um, Instagram, Instagram and Instagram gratification, bro. Yeah. So like the fact that you can be so securing yourself to wear a bonnet and mm -hmm. bro, this is what I do. You can, the, the fact that you can be so securing yourself and like I don't have to live in a, the the fanciest spot right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I and, think that's dope. Yeah, and I you know I just want before I get about it, I just want to let all the comedians out there know I don't care what see you from anything. Yo, you gotta start putting your money behind you. Mm. You get what I'm saying? I know you trying to look good and you trying to stunt, but the, you know that that <laughs> process gotta come afterwards, yo. Because I ain't gonna tell you this about the time. Where I had to spend my last bit on on getting a venue. You know what I'm saying? We can talk about the venues that you gotta buy. You know, I'm independent. I ain't got nobody to put money behind me. You feel what I'm saying? So this all this money come out of me. But you gotta triple it, you gotta flip it, and then put it back into your craft. You know what I mean? A lot of people wondering why they ain't got this and that, cause they ain't not spending money. It's a business at the end of the day. When you can be you, creative when, as fuck. When did you find that out though? I found that out when I turned like what? This is probably like three years ago. I had to start doing shows. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just had to start doing shows. Talk to me, bro. I feel like you, we got all these. Two we could we could take, we could change it to the to the to the music career, like music artists, right? Right. Everybody want to get signed. 
but they don't understand is you only gonna get signed once you can do it yourself. So you talking about these shows, right. it's like, yo, like we look at David Chappelle. David mm. Chappelle wouldn't be David Chappelle if he relied on these big companies. Cause now he can yeah. say whatever the fuck he want and he ain't getting canceled cause he got his own back. He already got his own, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He already built his own name up. So now he's <laughs> good. Like, the fuck you gonna say? You know, he can go on tour whenever he really feel like it. Like, you know, I'm going tour next. You know what I mean? You got that control. I wish, I but. wish artists, comedians, entrepreneurs in general knew that because what happens is like, bro, yeah. I want to get signed by, I don't know, like whoever does, I don't know, Live Nation, right? Let's right. say Live Nation. Right. Live Nation is eating. They're going to pay mm. me, they paying me 30K, 30K because they're going to make 30 million mm, or 3 not. million. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But if I get the the, the venue, mm -hmm. I can have 100 people in there. I'm still going to make more money than what they would pay me with 10,000 people in there. For real. Is it, do you ever look at it like independent wise versus. <sighs> Exposure, like what? that's a crazy balance. How though. do you look at that? I know, but see, you can get the exposure, but you know, we gotta see what that price is. You know, they might be like, "Yo, we can get you some exposure. Come over here," <laughs> and then they shelf you for five months. You know, damn, you ain't getting a movie for me yet. You ain't getting no podcast for me. Get on yet? Yeah, I'm paying you a thousand dollars a month. Yo, you ain't getting me shit yet. <laughs> so then, you? that's when the exposure become like, all right, man, maybe I can just try to get my own exposure. Like that's when you get your own budget. Mm. Start paying these people. If you hit people in them DMs and emails like, look, I got money. I'm trying to do this with you. They'll be like, all right, cool. Yeah. Ain't, ain't nobody turned down no cash. Fact. But when you coming in there like, yo, I'm the funniest. <laughs> oh, yo, I'm the hottest rapper. They looking at it like, all right. It's a thousand other hottest rappers. That's what I'm saying. But when you got that bag behind you, you see it? They be like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I'm taking him serious. Fact. All right, cool. He ain't no playing. Cap. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cap. He can pay me. Yo, question, man. Um, I That's think really this is something that uh, a lot of people in their perspective cities feel. Um, people want love in their city. Yeah. Do you feel like you got the love in your city or how do you feel about it? I feel like that I feel like you know, I'm fine with what I get. You feel what I'm saying? I'm I'm good. Like I am just humble, yo. I love you, you bro. I'm a humble guy, real. yo. I'm fine no, with what you, I get. You know what I mean? Okay, cool. I, just, I respect it. Yeah. But when you in the in a crib by yourself, right? Let's say you just had a you were drinking whatever you drinking, you right. drunk or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You right. getting your feelings when you right, drunk. Right. Do you ever think like, man, man, these niggas take me, fuck these niggas, these niggas taking me for granted, honestly? Never. Never? I'm not even going to lie to you, bro. Okay. When I walk outside, bro, I really feel the love, though. Whether That's it's good. from the Caucasian people, whether it's, we was in Miami, motherfucking Asian people. Like, yeah. we was like, damn, it kind of messed our head up a little bit. But that, I just take it, like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. you know, pause. No, I think, um, nah. That's wild. That was that was that was wild. Yeah, that was pause. But no, but Funny I guy. think it's it's easy for you to say because you do have the love in your city. I feel like there's a lot of people that that they yearn for that love in their city. And it's like like I don't want to. But but, but 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 what would I expect back though? Like I'm giving it love back. Like you get, I'm telling jokes. Like oh yeah, like I'm out here yeah. doing something. You know what I mean? I'm telling. You, I'm trying to make y'all laugh, y'all. So it'll be crazy to see me and be like, but damn. A lot of haters like, though. It be a lot of haters, bro. Don't play. Yeah, yeah, but what about the com the comedian community? <laughs> okay, <laughs> but that's anything you do, though. Like, if you a rapper, it's gonna be people that don't fuck each other in rapping. You if you a motherfucking model, it's by bitches arguing over that. You had you had so, you had media training before this? Did they like before this? Did they? Nah, I'm just raw and uncut. They told you ain't me giving me raw and uncut pause. I'm not. Damn. <laughs> I that mean, no, bad. I mean, yeah, do, do comedians be on some shit? Yeah. Of course. I mean, but that's that's not just in here, though. That's I'm that's, a, that's I'm anything. I'm, 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 I'm joking. I'm say that's I, anything. I, I was curious, but like, because I feel like, do you feel like the niggas that was around back in the day when you wasn't, when you wasn't Vontae, you know what I'm saying? Big Vontae now, you feel me? Don't like, when, when you wasn't that, and the niggas that was around, do you feel like they switched it up and start acting funny? Nah, they don't say nothing. Damn. But that's cool, though, because we ain't grow up with each other. We ain't got to act like we cool. Maybe oh, I'm an emotional nigga. I'm sorry. I, I respect nah, it. Dog. I love. What's the song, Honestly, bro? I'm a Libra. I respect it when you just don't say not, this. All right, cool. Let I, it be with a B. We ain't got a fake convo though. Okay. I hate that shit. I, bro, I like, hey, y'all, your family been. I like, respect you don't give a fuck about my people. <laughs> I respect <laughs> it. Nigga like, like me be like, man, fuck these niggas. Niggas ain't trying to show me love. See, nah, niggas you don't want to go off niggas. like that. You don't want to go off like that. No, though. you don't gotta go off. Oh, right. feeling. I'm asking you as a man, but. As men, what right. happens is we got a lot, a lot of times we got to mask our feelings. Yeah, we yeah, might yeah. feel away. Right. And you know what we got to do? We got to just go in. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We might pray. Talk we might do whatever right, we do, work right. out, and we can't really speak on it. Yeah. I'm asking you from a like just a, a human perspective. Like, do you ever think of these things and be like, man, niggas really don't appreciate me, man? I don't think about that about Baltimore. I think about that in the country, though. 
Okay. I feel like I'm up there with, with them. Like, yeah, I should be up there with Talk them. Heavy. I mean, I'm just saying with the views and shit. I mean, yo, no, I'm just being <laughs> humble though. But with the views and shit, I'm thinking I should be up there with the, the real, the, the comedian comedians up there. Yeah. Like, I'm not doing this shit to play around in here. I love we it. We trying to get up out the crib. We got to <laughs> bring it out. So I think that's where it get frustrating, like for real. Mm. You be like, this dude got 3 million followers, but he get this many views and comments. If I post some shit, they get this, and y'all trying to pay me $4,000 less mm. than this guy. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't like that. Like, I like, that. I like everybody to get treated fair. Last week, we had a show with Ha Ha Davis in Cleveland. You get what I'm saying? That's the inside scoop. So we in the club, Ha Ha Davis and shit, but the way they was treating that man was a little different. Like I, I like I said, and I like Shorty. Shorty funny. Like, don't get me wrong. We, you know, we seen each other, dap each other up. But for the owner to book us, and you telling me, oh, your section, you got to wait a little bit to get in your section. We got cleared out. Yo, what, walk right in the back. This type of shit, I don't, I don't like that. So that that's the part I don't like. That's just the part I don't be liking. That's right. when I go home and I be like, all right, something ain't right. But, you know. No, I get it. I think it's, game, it's definitely though. frustrating because it's, it's like, bro, like, I'm really I'm really out here making this shit work. Yeah. Yo, let's talk about, um, and you can correct me at any time if I'm wrong. Right. For me, it look like Philly is like your second home. It is. This shit is crazy. How did you get really? tapped in with Philly like that? All right, so back in the day, it was an app called Vine. Yeah. I, I, did a, I did a lot of shit on Vine. So one of the little comedians on Vine was a girl out there. We went out there, I did a video with her, and they went on her page. And then a lot of Philly followers came from that. So then I just they kept getting sh do shows out there, and I just go out to Philly a lot. You so. had to get an apartment in Philly, bro, because yeah, I see man, you right? doing shows out there like every other week. Like, that shit crazy. I with Philly, but it gives you that resemblance a little bit of Baltimore. You know, ain't nowhere like Baltimore, but yeah. you know what I mean? We cousins. Yeah, we like cousins. Yeah, like yeah, cousins. it's like cousins for real. Yo, I, I did an interview um, with Jess Hilarious uh, oh, yeah, a few years that. ago, and she was like, you was one of her favorite. How yeah. does it feel to see people like, just hilarious other notable names reposting to you and mm -hmm. talking about how funny you are like they recognize it but like the higher ups not recognize it like we just talked about like but I mean how does it feel the first the question is how does it feel when you see people like that showing you love it's like damn like yeah that's hard because just hilarious is just hilarious you thanks. know that's hard you know you can play all day but we know just hilarious is a big name and what I do like I want to be a comedian so of course I'm gonna look at her words a little different than I would somebody who has nothing to do with the craft of comedy mm. telling me something you get what I'm saying so mm -hmm. when I seen the interview I ain't gonna lie I definitely looked out I mean I uh, DM'd you and that shit was hard I was like damn that's hard you know what I mean so is, is there sure. anybody else that was like a big notable name that, that shouted you out and it made you like damn in the very beginning Chief Keith was the person that gave me a shout out Sheesh. Chief Keith I'm like, what the fuck? You what watching this shit? He was just like, yo, you funny. Yeah, it's so crazy, though, because it's crazy. He said, yo, you funny as shit, bro, and I love how you don't got to be a girl, uh, act like a girl to be funny. <laughs> that was in 2015 when I was just being raw. Little did so you know, now, man. little did you know, like, the fucking crazy part was, was that. But nah, I mean, you know, you got people like, you know, uh, the guy blaming on K-Way, you know, shout out to Tammy from Baltimore to give me, you know, she be showing a lot of love and then uh, a lot of basketball players and shit, football players on the Ravens. You know, that uh, shit cool. That next shit cool. Time when you, if you Shut ever like, start dabbling into music, yeah. Or you should, you could do a parody. You should make a song called Let Chief Keep Down. Yo, I'm like, crying, you, you yo. Know, you know how man, J. Cole somebody, got, hey, yo. Let, let Nas Down? You gotta make crying, a song yo. called Let Chief Keep Down. That'd be oh, hard, bro. Man, we on Comic View right now, <laughs> y'all. This Comic View for the old school. Yo, question. It's curious, because, like, I'm not doing it intentionally. Do you feel like when you're around your friends that's not comedians or, or people that you don't know that, that know you or fan, fans mm -hmm. of you, supporters or whatever, they try to like make you laugh a lot? Like, do you feel like that? Yeah, motherfuckers, they be trying to. Uh, they jokes, they, they be trying to make me laugh and shout me like, damn, that's that's corny. <laughs> but you, yeah, you be like, damn, that joke yeah. is ass. Yo, you see how say, that, that's corny. But yeah. I respect you for trying, though. Like, that shit hard, yo. You really tried that shit. Like, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm weak, bro. Hey, yo. What the fuck a nigga think you gonna do? Sign him? Like, what the like I niggas be wild, bro? Yo, so we we talk about um people not showing love and shit like that. One thing I've noticed about the city, mm -hmm. and this is what I hate, I ain't gonna lie. It'd be a lot of niggas that don't know niggas. Yeah. But then when niggas get lit, now everybody brothers. You ever you ever, you ever like anybody try to befriend, befriend you right now because you lit? Like that was That don't do comedy or like or, Anybody like niggas that's lit that probably weren't giving give you no yeah. type of no yeah, type yeah. of shine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Fuck now it. niggas is like, yo, Fonte, what up, dog? Like, come out, like, bitch. Nah, for real though. But I mean, again, like you know, I'm gonna say that this. I'm gonna go this route with the answer. What you going to do if you not lit and a nigga is lit near you? Right. You going to play? You going to let your pride? Are you going to try your shot? Be like, yo, I ain't going to lie. Are you funny as a bitch? And now you be like, damn, I respect you for trying. Nah, but, facts. you know, like, facts. who who would you say your favorite uh, besides yourself? Who would you say your favorite comedian in the city is? In the city? 
Oh, you weren't expecting that. Yeah, right? but he on the spot, didn't he? And like, I don't fuck with none of these niggas. Nah, 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 dog. I like that uh, the guy, uh, girl, he funny. The little short, the little dude, he just came out of high school. He got the little braids and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a guy like that. He funny. Um, I don't know. Just hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just I fuck with Just Hilarious because like she's down to earth. You know what yeah, what I'm saying? I yeah, fuck with her. She ain't really changed, um, like, you know. Same. I fuck with uh, Cool. And I fuck with like cool G. Man. G was G. Song was one of my favorite oh, comedians. It was crazy, bro. Him, I mean, I fuck with Cleon too, though. Yeah, nah, Cleon. Is, yeah, Cleon is talented. Cleon he like an OG in the city. Yeah, like, yeah Cleon like an OG yeah, in the city like, when it comes to comedy. Who was your favorite comedian like um, na nationwide, like national? I ain't gonna hold you. I'm I'm, I'm going uh. We gonna go Drewski right now. Drewski got the game on lock. Mm. Drewski got the game on lock. I don't know who. I ain't gonna say all that, but you family like Drewski got the game on lock Damn. for sure. For I sure. fuck with it. Y'all appreciate you for pulling up, bro. What yeah, you working yeah, on bro. this shit? What you got going on? Man, you know, right now we uh we about to start doing these shows again. We got the shows coming up. We got Ohio State University next week. Um, we just got the shows, man. About to fund my own little tour through the summer, like I did last year. Do the cities like that. Uh, we gonna keep selling bonnets. We got the bonnets on the website. And then we doing the IGTV. You know, we got the YouTube podcast, Vibin' with Vontae. So that's what we got going on right now. Them four things, we just we just doing it, so. I appreciate it, dog. Yeah, um, let people know where to follow you at and all that good shit. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all that, at Vontae, um, V-O-N-T-E-E. -E. And uh, yeah, that's what he is. All right, man, Mr. J-Hill Conversation Series, you already know it's a wrap. Appreciate you, dog. Appreciate you, bro. All right.